Today's video, I'm going to be breaking down, in my opinion, what is going to be one of the better offenses post-patch and an offense that got a lot better after the patch, and that is the Indianapolis Colts offensive ebook. That offense is totally back. Um, if you guys want to check out my Colts ebook, I'm going to be updating it for you guys post-patch, but that's going to be in our uh, school community, if you're not a school member yet, it's only 10 bucks to be one. It gets you access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you guys want to check that out, that link is going to be in the description below. All right, so uh, this offense is entirely centered around double post, double post, double post, right? But also features really good red zone formations such as trip set and offset, why off trips normal here, uh, and then some decent under center stuff, single back wing slot, single back wing tight. Um, these are some decent under center formations that you have. For this video, we're gonna be focusing in on bunch. I'm gonna give you some of my favorite plays out of this. My go-to audibles for bunch right now are uh, I, I kind of like the Z-spot and go play, but I'm actually going to be subbing this out, and I'm going to be using the corner play, uh, corner out dig. I do think that's a nice quick snap play, but let's go ahead and get on the field. Let me grab double post accidentally audible over to PA Reed. But since double mug got patched, this offense got a lot better. So the reason why is because double mug and really just pressed man coverage is pretty good against Colts, but um, especially with, with a good blitz behind it. So first setup is a streak on the slot receiver and you just snap the ball and really what you're looking for on this play is you're looking for this post to get underneath of these deep blue zones now we'll say one of the biggest changes post patch in this game is that these outside quarters and outside thirds they drop way way back so you want to be throwing um you want to be throwing a lot more comebacks and c routes type of routes um another thing that i wanted to talk about kind of post patch with this with this game is this wheel route again I talked about how the quarter zone kind of super backs up you can throw that wheel route against really anything that's not cover four so cover three cover two you're gonna be able to throw this wheel when he cuts up field um, it's gonna take him a little bit but you see there that outside third is not gonna guard that you can just throw that uh, deep deep route the other thing is um, my deck's favorite setup in the game this is honestly probably the play I call the most right now just drag the slot receiver snap the ball what you're going to see here is the C route is really the route that is, I think, really good on this play. Uh, this is against a shaded down cover four or shaded down cover three. You're going to see consistently that I can throw the C route. I'm not pass leading it really anyway. I'm just I'm not free forming it. I'm just pass leading it down to the outside. Now, if you see here that that guy drops back like that, then you can just dump it down to your drag and just take what the defense gives you. Another thing that's a really, really good read this year these yellow zones back up a lot, so hitting this running back on that underneath is always a good read. And then if they're not going to hard flat on your tight end, you can try to throw this out here. I will say that seems to me to be a little bit more of a difficult throw. That being said, if they're playing cover two, the main reads that I want you to make is I want you to try to hit that tight end and truck up field, get easy yardage that way. Another good read against cover two, especially if they're not double flatting, is your backside drag this drag right here really good again i think the kind of like take your five yards is really good right now in madden and so that's why i like double post the second play and the play you have to talk about if you're going to talk about colts is verts half back under all you have to do is snap the ball literally all you have to do is snap the ball now a lot of people are going to switch stick onto the crosser which is why i want you to really look at that running back route a lot of times that running back route is going to be something that you can throw another route let's say that they play really good against that running back route kind of late in the play you can throw this with a pass lead down into the inside to the tight end really nice little read there if they're going to really use her across the middle of the field well then you can throw this crosser kind of up in that left side seam this is uh, situationally more so when the user is going to really bite down to the running back you can kind of throw this into this little pocket right here in the seam area of the field. Another underrated use of verticals is against cover two. So against cover two, with this play, you can throw this wheel route. I'm just gonna freeform that up and to the right. And as you can see, it's gonna be a nice way to uh, attack cover two. One of the things that you're gonna see people start to go into a little bit more uh, now post patch is you're gonna see a little bit more of this, a little bit more double flat, a little bit more double Mabel here. 
So they're going to almost always go guard the, the crossing route. So every now and then, if you just want to sneak your running back out in the backfield on a streak, I think that's perfectly fine and very useful uh, because of kind of where he's going to get to on the field and just gets into kind of a unique spot against the defense. One of my next setups at a double post that I really like is to streak my slot receiver, drag my tight end, streak my running back, and basically run the play like this. You could also utilize a speed out stemmed between 10 to 15 yards here. And again, it just it these are just helpful for getting that that high low read to the left side of the screen because you have to do a lot like you're going to see a lot of switch sticking to take away this post route. And so when they have to do all this stuff to go guard this post route, that's where this backside like high low between the out route and the the out route and the and the comeback, or I'm sorry, the out route and the and the drag route are really, really, really e effective. Um, another combo that I like out of this would be motion out, but now we're going to utilize kind of a combo like this. Again, just takes advantage of kind of that intermediate area of the field, trying to force them to have to shade underneath and have four underneath zones is really, really key in this game. The next route combo that I like is out of the play corner out dig. And what we're going to do here is we're going to stem this corner down one and we're just going to streak the tight end and snap the ball. And you're going to see uh, here that this corner route can kind of be thrown against against cover four. I will say that cover four is not exactly like the best case scenario for throwing this. But you can actually kind of hit this against like a shaded down cover four. First read is obviously going to be this out route. But this corner route this year, as you see, I can kind of possession catch it. This is how bad deep zones are right now. You can basically just throw right at them. But what we're really ultimately trying to get here is this is just a combo that we're going to use to attack kind of cover two. So if they go to cover two, this high lows them in the flat. So a lot of times you see here, see how he squats on that? But then what that's going to leave open is if he defends that underneath underneath out route, you're going to be able to just throw the corner route. So let me go to corner divide. So the way I would hot route it is I would stem him down one and streak the tight end and snap the ball quick. Here you see there's cover two. And now we're able to take the top off the defense in a cover two situation. So this is one of those plays that I feel like a lot of times they're going to switch stick. Once they see a, anyone sees a corner out and bunch, they're going to switch stick it almost always. So when they do that, this is where, let's say they switch stick to the vert hook or they switch stick to somebody out of the middle of the field. Well, then we can kind of like step up and if we have time, we can throw that out, that, that backside in route. So let me try to hopefully kind of explain this a little better. Again, let me put a little kind of a double flat over there to the right side. And see if we can show you this this in route. But basically, if they switch stick, this in route kind of gets into the soft spot. And again, this is so important, but just simple setups, like even verticals with a table route is really good this year because people aren't playing hard flats. They aren't playing five-yard hook curls. We want to cause them to have four guys underneath. And if we can force them into that, that's going to open up some things for us. Um, another setup that I like to utilize in this offense is basically a streak post, kind of a combination like this, if you will. Um, and the reason this is really effective, you can motion the running back to the right if you want to cancel any kind of match. This is just a really effective play because it forces switch stick to that right sideline. If they switch stick to the right sideline, which they almost always will switch stick to the right sideline, and you could do it out of bunch nasty or this. They're not going to expect it as much out of this. It's kind of just a universal bunch concept this year. But you can throw this tight end in the seam as well. This is another thing that I'll typically do out of a five wide situ situation. So again, if we want to do this out of double post, you know, we can use the running back out route. That's kind of neat. And then we could run it like this as well. Okay. And again, what you're going to see, okay, they switched it. Now we can just take our underneath route over the middle of the field. So as I said, um, Colts, Colts, the Colts playbook as a whole is kind of underratedly uh, can struggle against man coverage. But I will say this running back in route has been pretty reliable this year for beating man consistently. It didn't quite give me perfect separation there. Another play that I like for beating man is just this basic smash return. So we're just going to utilize a curl, and you can stem that curl all the way up or streak, whatever you want to do. But what you're going to see here is like, let's say there's a curl. 
then you can you can basically lob it uh, over the top of any kind of cover zero press. So I'll just show, I'll just show the curl. So you see here, see how he's gonna get on top of him and then you can basically high point it or give yourself a chance over the top. Let me actually go to a cover zero and you'll kind of see this a little better. So what you'll see is he's gonna get a free release off this guy and can't quite get the ball out because for some reason practice mode just makes every blitz Zeus apparently whenever you play it. I don't know why, but anyway, you're going to have this. Let's just block release this guy just to give us a second. As you see, this streak is going to be there for you. So anyways, you have that. The other thing you have against man is these return routes. One of the reasons I like Colts is because it has a lot of zigs and a lot of return routes, right? So you have uh, this tight end corner. I think people need to look at this a little bit more. I think it's actually pretty good. Um, I think it just gets good spacing and – for example, a combo you could run out of smash return. Let me show you real quick. So a combo you could run out of smash return if you wanted to uh, would be something like this, right? You could do something like this. Now watch this pocket the tight end's gonna run into. Just kind of gets into a soft spot. It's gonna be kind of a, a read they might not expect, right? But again, a good setup for smash return for a man would be something like this. Uh, you have your streak, and then you have your tight end route that you want to look for. Normally, that tight end route is going to be your money beat, money route against man coverage. In practice mode, Madden just likes to make everything harder because they just make you bump into everything. But in general, this is a pretty decent little – there you see a, a little bit more accurate of what's actually going to happen in a game. You're going to get stuff like that. One of my recent like favorite ways to run smash return, though, because what a lot of people will do is they'll um, – They'll basically put this guy in a hard flat, and then they'll like cross man or, or user. So anyway, what I like to do against this is to go to smash return and just literally slant the tight end and streak this slot. And what this is going to do is the hard flat will go down to the running back, and then you can throw your tight end across the field. Kind of a little thing, but I think it is pretty, pretty helpful. And then, of course, you have all the bunch nasty stuff that we like to do. So you could go to dagger, just put the tight end on a post, snap the ball. You're looking at your high-low in the middle of the field. Notice, again, the yellow zones are going to drop out a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm dead serious, guys. You want to make them half, like, have to respect the under center. This is what makes Colts good. Um, what I'm able to do in terms of making them have to respect kind of my under center passing or my, my underneath passing this is what makes, in my opinion, this is what makes Colts, like, really, really good, right? I don't know what's going on right there, but the, the guy was wide open. So, so then once they do start to respect that, that's where, like, a play out of smash return where we're doing something like this. Watch this post route. You can kind of throw this into a soft spot against the zones as well. So you have all those things in Colts. You also have a couple, couple other plays that I just want to highlight, and I'm going to do so by using them in the audibles here. I wanted to highlight Z spot and go, dig return, and bench pivot. I do think those are probably the best bang for your bucks in terms of like good plays out of bunch. So dig return, really another great bunch play. You need to be mixing this in. This combination of flat and then this like super late zig is really, really good. Here it actually, the defense played it pretty decently. But one of the things that you can do at a dig return is kind of that same idea, you know, where we're using that backside post. So you see how we get that clear out and then we get that whip kind of in that nice spot on the field. So you have dig return. Another thing you can do in bunch uh, is you can always kind of mix in this bunch wide. One of my, another really good setups here would be something like this. At a dig return, you kind of have that seam streak to the to the running back that's really good out of this formation. And then you also have the dig return setup. Another thing you have in bunch wide, I guess I don't have my audibles quite set up here. Um, but another thing you would you would have in bunch wide would be a combination like this. This to me is a really, really good route combo this year. And it's kind of similar to corner out divide, right? But we now we have a speed out over there, and then we're also, you know kind of forcing them to use the corner route, and then we have that backside uh, to be able to attack them with. So Z-spot and go, you have just the stem on the corner route, and now you're using a stem down corner, 
right? This is, and of course, the hook curl is going to, I'm telling you, if you don't put your hook curls on five, then they will literally just do whatever they want on the field. Here, I'm going to shade down, and you're going to see by the time the corner route was open, I just have a the the good old instant instant shed instant shed glitch of practice mode is the gift that keeps on giving I think but anyway if you look at this play what I like about it is just now the slot receiver is the threat right so this is just good it's just good against um, cover two sync and then let's say they switch stick let's say you're running this and they sw they decide they want to switch stick to the right side and we force them to have to defend the flat on the left. Well, then we can just kind of come back side here and try to hit that C route. Again, I really like the C routes right now because they're hard. Um, they're just hard to defend. Bench pivot, just drag the tight end, snap the ball. Now you have that slot receiver on the whip as opposed to the outside receiver. And then you have a backside in instead of a, um, instead of a front side in route. So those are just little, little pieces. Uh, to be able to utilize here, here you'll see again. You really just want to wear out the underneath, in my opinion, this year. I, I really am a big believer in setups like what I showed you at a double post. You can try to run some double corner. Um, you know, if you want to run like you would want a deep, deep corner here, something like this. This isn't terrible. Uh, as you see, it kind of messes up the zones. So you can still use double corner. It's just not as good as it, as it was last year. And then you have everything that you want out of this as well. So, like, you can still go to wide trail. I like to just stem this corner all the way down, snap the ball. I got a high-low there. And then I got kind of a high-low in the middle of the field between the post and the trail route. And then uh, another play that I really like out of this is just mesh flat spot, kind of showing what we talked about with the post. Uh, we see there the yellow's back up, so we can just throw our drag route underneath. And then, obviously, just audibling around in general, right? Audibling around. Uh, you have tight open, which is one of the most underrated formations in this game. Uh, it's a really nice, just little tight set. Kind of can audible to this situationally and uh, take advantage of different types of ways to attack the defense. And then you also have this uh, U-off trips, which has, in my opinion, the best RPO in the game. This RPO read flat. They're almost never able to consistently guard the tight end route. So... Mixing all this together, I think, makes Colts and puts Colts back in its rightful place as one of the top offenses in the game. And if you want to learn how I run the offense, join our school community. The link to sign up for that is in the description below.